hello students we are going to start chapter number 6 that is work energy and power today and as the title of the chapter already suggests we are going to start with the first term that is work so what is work and when is the work said to be done when we said that work is done by the body for that we have to consider a body and a force is acting on that such that the body moves through some distance in the direction of that force then we say that work is done by the body or work is said to be done so work is done on a body only if there are two conditions are satisfied first there must be a force acting on that body second the point of application of force the point on which that force is applied it moves in the direction of the force only then we can say work is done on a body so work is said to be done we can write that it is said to be done whenever a force act on a body and that body moves through some distance and that distance should be in the direction of force only to so move through some distance in the direction of force then the work is said to be done or we can say that work is done on a body work is done on a body if the following two conditions are satisfied so if the first condition is a force act on the body and the second necessary condition is the point of application of the force means the point in that body on which that force is acting it should move in the direction of the force so the point of application of the force moves in the direction of force then the work is done on a body so this is work now there are two possibilities that force acting on that body it can be a constant or it can be a variable force so first we are discussing about a work done by a constant force when we have a constant force acting on a body and we are supposed to find the work done by that force so there are again two possibilities first possibility is that work done or that work done we are going to measure is because of a force which is acting along the direction of motion that means we want to find the work done by a constant force that force acting along the direction of motion this is the first possible situation other possible situation is that force acting such that the force and displacement are inclined to each other means there is an angle theta between force and the direction of displacement so second situation is force and displacement are inclined to each other okay so these are the two cases that we have to consider now move for the first situation in which the force act in the direction of motion so suppose we have a block placed on a horizontal surface a force is applied at its center in right direction like this okay the force is applied on that box in right direction and this box move over the surface and its new position is this which is at a distance s from the 
initial position so due to this force this object move through a distance s now in such situation the force f vector displaces this body through a distance s which is parallel to the line of action of force line of action of force and the direction of motion of the object is same either same or parallel so we can define work done in this case as the product of force into distance moved in the direction of force distance moved in the direction of force or w is equal to fs this is how we can define work done in this case okay in the other case when force and displacement are inclined to each other so suppose we have a box here placed on a surface it's the force acting on it is at angle theta with the horizontal and the displacement that it covers or the position change is s means its new position is here now the position change is along the horizontal but the force is making an angle this is force making an angle theta with the horizontal so the situation is that the force and displacement are inclined to each other displacement is along the horizontal and force is making an angle theta with the horizontal so in that case we define work done as the product of this displacement and the component of force in the direction of displacement so if we want to find the component of this force in the direction of displacement means in horizontal direction so we get this component is equal to f cos theta means we have to define work done as the product of component of force in direction of displacement into magnitude of displacement okay into magnitude of displacement so we can write it as w is equal to f cos theta into s now if we see this relation this is f s cos theta both f and s are individually vector quantities right so we can write it as the scalar product of vector f and vector s so work done can be given as the scalar product or dot product of the force and the displacement vector since it is a, it is given by a scalar product that's why work done is a scalar quantity this is a scalar quantity now if these vectors have their rectangular components of form f vector is equal to fx i cap plus fy j cap plus fz k cap and the displacement vector s vector is given as sx i cap plus sy j cap plus sz k cap so we can also write work done in terms of these rectangular components so work done will be f vector dot s vector which is equal to fx i cap plus fy j cap plus fz k cap dot sx i cap plus sy j cap plus sz k cap now if we solve this we get w is equal to fx sx plus fy sy plus fz sz so this is the required value of work done by that force in the form of its rectangular components now if we talk about the units so si unit of work done is joule si unit is joule it is represented by capital j and since we know that work done is equal to f into s that means 1 joule is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter or 1 joule is equal to 1 newton meter so we can define 1 joule of work done here also so 1 joule of work is said to be done when a force of 1 newton when a force of 1 newton displaces a body through a distance of 1 meter in its own direction in the direction of force only in that case we say that force is equal to 1 joule so we can define 1 joule as 1 joule of work 
is said to be done if one newton of force displaces a body by 1 meter in its own direction in that case the work is said to be 1 joule this is how we can define 1 joule this is SI unit now if we talk about its CGS unit so in CGS system the unit is ergs right it's erg so one erg will be is equal to one dyne into one centimeter this is in CGS system so if a force of one dyne right is applied on a body and it displays it through a distance of one centimeter then one arc of work is said to be done if we want to find the relation between one arc and one joule so we can do it like this we know that one joule is equal to one newton into one meter and one newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dynes and one meter is equal to 10 to the power 2 centimeter so we can write one joule as 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter that means 10 to the power 7 arcs so 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 arc. This is the relation or the conversion relation between the units. After units, uh, the dimensions of work done, we can also find these. So dimensions ke liye, we have work done is equal to force into distance or displacement. So the dimensions of work done will be dimensions of force into dimensions of distance so I am writing it as L only L is the distance dimension for distance so this dimension of work done can be given as dimension of force are M L T minus 2 into L so the answer that we need is M L 2 T minus 2 this is the required dimensions of work done these are the dimensions of work done now after this uh, we, we are on the case of constant force only there are nature of work done there are different situations in which work done has different nature so we are talking about the nature of work done we know that work done is a scalar quantity it's still its value can be positive can be negative or zero depending on different situations so now we are going to discuss the nature of work done in different situation now the possibilities are positive work done positive work second possibility is negative work and third possibility is zero work so these three situations or nature of work we can see depending on different situations right so first I am top talking about positive work in positive work if a force acting on a body has a component in the direction of displacement means force is acting in any direction but its component is in the direction of displacement then that work done by the force is positive means if there is an object like this force is acting at some angle with horizontal and displacement is in the direction of horizontal or we can say that the force is making an angle theta with the direction of displacement and this theta is less than 90 degree if the situation is force is inclined at an angle theta with the direction of displacement and that angle theta is 90 degree in that case there is cos component of force f cos theta in the direction of displacement only so in such situation w is equal to fs cos theta get positive value right if we see the values from the formula then f will be positive s will be positive and cos theta if theta is less than 90 degree the value of cos theta will also be positive so answer we get is positive or we can define it as if the force has its component in the direction of displacement in that case the work done is positive now for negative work done negative work done if the force is inclined to the displacement such that the, the component of the force in a direction opposite exactly opposite to the displacement means force is acting at an angle more than 90 degrees suppose it, the situation is like this if f vector is acting on the body like this 
and making an angle with the displacement's direction theta such that theta is greater than 90 degree or theta is an obtuse angle in that case when we take its component its component will be f cos theta in a direction opposite to the displacement direction because when we find f cos theta we find w is equal to f s cos theta f is positive s is positive and if we have cos theta with theta greater than 90 degree then this value will be negative okay so the answer we will get is in the direction negative to that of displacement vector means opposite to that of displacement vector so the work done will be negative means for negative work done theta should be greater than 90 degree now come to the situation of zero work done now there are two possible situation in case of zero work done or I should say three possible situation in the formula w is equal to f s cos theta if theta is equal to 90 degree cos 90 will be zero if theta is equal to 90 degree cos 90 will be zero and work done will be zero other than this there are situations if f vector is zero or s vector is zero or both are zero in that cases also we get zero work done so for zero work done there are many possibilities work done by force is zero if body get displaced in a direction perpendicular to the direction of applied force if the angle between the direction of force and the direction of displacement is 90 degree or displacement is seen observed in a direction perpendicular to the direction of applied force in that case we get zero work done or if the magnitude of force is zero means there is no applied force or if the displacement is zero means we are applying force but body is not showing any kind of displacement it's displacement that we have to remember it's not distance it's displacement or both are zero means either one of them or both are zero then zero work can be observed so these are the different nature of work done depending on different situations now this was all about the explanation of work done if a constant force is applied on a ob on an object but if there is a variable force then we have to explain it with the help of integration so that we will do in the next lesson for that stay tuned and keep studying thank you